Hey guys, I want to talk about something that no one has bothered to tell me when I was learning Spanish. There are certain obstacles that you may have and you may think, oh my God, am I alone in this? What's, what's happening? These are problems I feel you need to know and no one is sharing them. So let's take a look and see what these issues are. Okay, first and foremost, I want to apologize. I have not made a video in like a week and a half because I have been incredibly busy and during Christmas, I'm going to try to make a Christmas video. Um, we'll see what happens. So anyway, yeah, when I was learning Spanish, now whether you're learning through immersion or you know, in your country, through books or school, um, there's gonna be issues that may come up. And this happened to me and no one bothered to tell me that if they experienced these or, you know, if it was just me. Now you may experience all of these or you may experience some or none, but I wanna share with you at least what I experienced. So that way, if you go through these experiences, you know that you're not alone. These are not in any particular order, but yeah, I'm just gonna just go out and just tell you. On and off days. Now, what I mean by this is as you are learning Spanish or I think any foreign language, you may notice that some days you speak really well, really fluently, you don't have to think and you're like, oh, I'm really learning, I'm really learning, oh my God, and you have this confidence. Then there are other days where you're like struggling to find words. You're like, what is going on? My Spanish is so bad, what's going on? But I did a little bit of research and found out that this is your brain fighting over dominance. Basically the languages are fighting because you've used English for so long, then English is like, okay, well, who is this? Hello, I'm Spanish. And you're like, um, no, this is my home. So basically they are fighting because your brain is used to using one language and now it has to compensate for another. So this is normal, but eventually it'll go away once you practice more because your brain is like a muscle. It has to exercise and using multiple languages is a lot of work on your brain. Next is, well, I guess you can say this goes to on and off days, but your emotions. So what I mean by this is in my experience, if I'm very relaxed, I can speak pretty well without thinking. But if I'm angry or sad, it's difficult. Or really excited, it's difficult. It's like your emotions can affect how you speak Spanish. The next thing that I've learned or experienced would be tiredness. In the morning, when I wake up, my brain doesn't want to speak Spanish. It can't function. I'm like struggling. I have to wake up, I have to exercise, I have to do something. And then a couple hours later, I can speak Spanish pretty well. But I used to worry about like, okay, why can't I do this in the morning? It's just, your brain just doesn't want to. And I go to work and everyone's speaking to me in Spanish and everyone knows in the morning is not a good time <laughs> to speak to me because I just can't do it. The next thing I notice is mental fatigue. So, well, it doesn't affect me much now, but it used to. When I would speak Spanish, um, I noticed that after a couple minutes, my brain would get really tired because it takes a lot of concentration when you're learning to use the other language. After that, I noticed that I could speak Spanish for maybe an hour before I would get tired and then it would last longer. So the more you practice, the more it would get better. And it brings me to my next point. Listening to people speak at once. For example, if you're having a beer or dinner with friends or whatever, and everyone's speaking, you know, you have like two different conversations going because if you watch my other videos, I said Spanish people can talk. Well, this can be very draining because you're like, you're kind of listening on this conversation and this conversation, and then you're just like, I'm lost. So then you just disconnect and you, you just don't want to be bothered. But it's it's normal. The last thing that I want to bring up is forgetfulness. Okay, I, I believe there was another video where that I watched where a lady was talking about how she started to forget things when she learned um, Spanish. I've noticed this too. 
So, but things that I forget are things from English because I don't use English a lot、um, living here. So, when I speak to my family over the phone or my mom, sometimes I forget words. How did I forget this? Like,、um, uh, I'll ask my mom, what does this mean? Or one time I actually had to use Google Translate to translate a Spanish word into English because I forgot what the English word was. But they say once you're re immersed into your culture, you will get it all back. But at first, it, it worried me.、Um, and I think it's because your brain is working overtime and it has to figure out what, what's useful and what's not. And in the beginning, it is kind of scary. You're just like, whoa, I can't forget my language. I have to communicate with my friends, but you won't forget. But you will forget little tidbits here and there. And I think there's a term for this. I think it was called、um, language attrition or something like that. And usually it's common with people who learn languages when they're young, but it can happen in adults too, trust me. That was pretty much everything that I've experienced personally on the negative side of learning a language. So you may experience these, you may not have experienced these. Um, but it is my experience. So, if you have experienced these, I would love to hear about it. Just leave it in the comment. If you have not experienced these, leave a comment too. That's all I have for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Ciao, hasta luego.